some barely visible. But this is stone aged compared to today's technology. The most amazing of these new weather modification devices are so small, you might not even see one, even if it was floating in your eye. Ranging from the ultra-tiny to the nearly invisible, these are the revolutionary micro-machines that will be the workhorses of any world weather control system. They're MEMS, Microelectric Mechanical Sensors. And there's more. Every day, 2,000 weather balloons are launched globally. They predict and potentially control our weather. But what if we could launch 10,000 or 10 million balloons? That's exactly the theory behind GEMS. GEMS are global environmental MEMS sensors, a concept that we have come up with that deals with a massive wireless network of airborne probes. The idea is to release 10,000 or more of these dust-sized probes every day from aeroplanes, stratospheric platforms or satellites. Like weather balloons, the probes would monitor weather information over every kilometer of the Earth's surface at a resolution that is today unheard of. We envisioned that the GEMS probe itself would have a bio-inspired design, something like a maple seed or a dandelion seed that actually incorporates the constructs of nature to achieve aerodynamics and buoyancy. With an ongoing stream of millions of measurements, the accuracy of our picture of the atmosphere could improve a thousand times over. There's every reason to be optimistic that simply having more measurements of the atmosphere will lead to improved forecasts. It's also possible that the gems themselves could be made to play an active role in cloud dynamics. In effect, cloud seeding with a million microscopic computers. But if gems are heavier than air, what will happen when these millions of probes finally fall to Earth? When the GEMS probes land on the surface, either in the water or on the land, they would continue potentially to provide surface observations. But would they be harmful if accidentally inhaled? At the sizes we're talking about, if you actually inhaled one or got one in your mouth or one in your eye, it would probably be no different than, say, a speck of dust or a, a particular particle in the atmosphere that you would get in. You'd probably sneeze it out or cough it up. Nanotechnology will become indispensable to weather observation and prediction. But where cutting-edge science goes, the military is never...